Mother bitches, bringing you another standard domination gameplay on Dome. And by far, if you expect this to be Epcot, you in the wrong damn game. You too damn young. This ain't Epcot. This is the killing fields of COD. And right now, every one of us, you see the rebels rolling. We should all be incarcerated as weapons of mass destruction. Each one, each man, including my man Poppy Gamble, you see him rolling with us. We should all be incarcerated for fucking genocide. You see, oh my good Jesus, just jump in the gameplay. But as you see in the title, give you a little heads up on uh, some NASCAR news. Uh, if you got to watch this weekend's race at Phoenix, you saw uh, Nationwide Series was taken by Mr. Elliot Sadler. You know, long time win, much needed. And I guess he was very deserving of it. It's a good race, good race. I, I enjoyed the Nationwide race. And then over to the Cup Boys. I'm not a Hamlin fan. I'm not a big Denny Hamlin fan. I think he thinks he's just too damn sexy for his shirt. He's fucking on a damn catwalk and bullshit. I just, I'm not a Hamlin fan. I can't help it. I don't even ship my FedEx now because of him. Everything is ups. And I thought my man Harvick. I'm not a Harvick fan either. Can't help it. I think Budweiser should be Dale Jr. only. I like him in his Mountain Dew colors, but he should be Dale Jr. But Harvick, he made a run toward the end. He, uh, had it not been for fuel running out, you know... I think a lot of it has to do with a lot of these teams are just now. I didn't see it, motherfucker, crouched down, cowering in the corner. If it hadn't been for the uh, new fuel injection, I think Harvick had his ass. But uh, is what it is. Man Junior, not too bad. Top 15 finish. You know, Junior Nation's proud of that. Uh, still, I was heartbreaking. I was heartbroken at Daytona. Fucking Biffle, just being the pussy he is, held back, wouldn't go, trying to protect his teammate, which he did. More power to him. He got Kins at the 500. If he'd have done that a little earlier in the Bud shootout, maybe both of them been looking good for the entire weekend. But it is what it is. Uh, good weekend. Good run in Phoenix. And if you, uh, many of you noticed that uh, Mr. Check and House was on top of the, uh, on top of the box of the 48 <laughs> They are appealing, but my intel says his ass is gonna be gone for about six races. You can see it coming. That C pillar at Daytona is gonna come back and bite him in the ass. I knew he cheated. He, he has to cheat a little bit. Even he's on NASCAR performance. You see him doing his little interviews. He's a little upset. I can't help it. But, uh, and there's another. I'm getting addicted on Friday and Saturday. I think it's Saturday night, actually, of these uh, Monster Energy, Motocross, Arena Cross, whatever it is. I can't help it. I'm addicted to it. I love watching them. You know, I, I used to watch a lot of uh, moto Motocross with uh, Ricky Carmichael and the crew. But uh, I'm jumping back into it. I'm liking it. It's kind of like boxing. It's coming back to me. You know, I got on the UFC bandwagon. I can't help it. I still love it. You know, it, it's here to stay. Ultimate fighting is here to stay. It's not a fad. Case in point, you, you just see the fucking talent that they're rolling out. Ready for this Friday night? First ever. Ah, oh, fucking Mason and Porter. First ever um, live. What is it? Ultimate Fighter. Ultimate Fighter live. This Friday night. I think it's Fedor and, and Cruz. Two coaches should be, uh, or Faber, Faber, whatever. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. I got some shit running in my mind. I can't remember that. But, uh, looking forward to it. Should be pretty sweet. I may bring you a weekly. I know my man Poppy Gamble's in interested in that. He himself is a UFC fighter. You see him running around just smacking the fucking taste out of these enemy adversaries' mouth. I'm not running as much this round. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get on kill streak. I die a lot. I end up with 19 deaths fucking pathetic i think i finished fourth on the board very poor showing by me i'm it's because i'm camping right now i'm looking for a deal from, i'm trying to steal jamie mcmurray's ride from bass pro shop he i think he, he's looking he got a little bit of sugar in his thing i'm just gonna say it i can't stand listening to him he needs to be doing some kind of fucking hand modeling or need to be one of the new cover girl models i don't i, I can't help it i'm just gonna say it many of i mean i'm gonna get a lot of hate for that because everybody loves jamie mac everybody loves jamie mac I think Jamie Mack got a little sugar this time. I'll be the first one to tell you. I bet he'd hold one in his mouth till it got soft. He may not tell you he'd suck on it, but he'd hold it till it got soft. My man K Mac dropping loads in these enemy adversaries. Oh, I brought one in too. I got a hit, but y'all, it's because he brought that damn Reaper in. We call it the area Raper. And another thing, I don't know if many of you look into custom plates. Many of his young men, 16, 17 years old, you get your license. 
first thing you want to do is get a custom plate for your hot rod. I can't help it. Everyone's done it. You can deny it if you want to. And I want to see some comments of what the gayest shit you've seen on a license plate. But, me and my twisted mind, I get online to check and see what's the most vulgar shit you can find available in the state of Kentucky. Rapist and raper are both available. And with that license plate, let me give you a little dramatization of what's going to happen when you roll that type of plate. Lexington 911 Center. What is your emergency? Yes, my name is Legina Nelson, and I think there is a rapist driving around my neighborhood. Well, ma'am, uh, uh, what makes you think there's a rapist driving around your neighborhood? Well, his damn license plate says rapist. I'm pretty sure he's not a rapper. I can spell. <laughs> <laughs> True story. It's going to happen. You're going to find that. You're going to see that I go offline for about six months and not making videos. And that's what's going to be. It's because they caught me. I'm the rapist. I thought it'd be funny because the way I massacre people on COD. But evidently, people take it serious. <laughs> but uh, moving on in the sports world, Big Blue Nation picked up another victory. Another beautiful greatness is amongst us. Knocked off uh, the Florida Gators. 16th. I think it was 16th, 13th, 16th ranked. 13th or 16th grade for Florida Gators. Just another victim. That's what it's going to be. Now, I was behind this fucking box. I don't know. I get angry with this game. I don't even need to watch it when I make my commentaries anymore. I just need to put up some random shit and then just just give you a piece of my mind. I know many of you hate NASCAR. I'm, I'm tell you another thing that I saw this week was a few months back, well before Yash was in my life, before you know I was the epic commentator I am today, I made a video called James Harrison is a bitch. I can't help it. I don't like the way the man plays. I think he's the dirtiest player in the NFL right now. And I may have made a video suggesting, suggesting, suggesting that uh, NFL teams put a bounty out for bitches like James Harrison. I did not think New Orleans would take heed to my comments. Evidently they did. Evidently my words are more powerful than I thought they were. But, um, uh, as you know, New Orleans is some hot water, but there's other teams coming. And I have to say, I wouldn't be too disappointed if they did put some kind of damn bounty on James Harris. And uh, some man, done p there was a comment on the video that I posted. And the man done told me he wants to know where I live so he can find me in real life and whoop my ass. Well, son, let me tell you, I got a whole lot of ass to whip some pack of lunch. Come find me anytime. <laughs> I ain't too hard. I'm only giant, crimson bearded monster driving around a red viper. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I don't have a viper. I do have a 66 Mustang that's just about as bad as one. Actually, I'd say it's more epic. It is a, it's a quintessential panty snatcher. It might need a license plate called Rapist because I guarantee you when your girlfriend sees it, clothes will come off. <laughs> I'm so full of shit. But yes, man done threaten bodily harm over one of my comments, and I love it. I love being that provocative commentator. Fucking look, grenades, empty. I can't help it, I use them too. Good job. Good job, big homie. And I'm fucking, I'm just going on death spree. Just dying like crazy mofo. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a long video. I got to look at how much time I put on this. But uh, start sending me a message to tell me, hey, your video's too long. I'm getting in trouble at work. I don't want to see anybody getting in trouble. I know, I know a couple of my people, I've already heard them tell me about giggling at work, getting snatched up by their bosses. Please, wait till you get home. I'll still be here. Do not lose your job. I can't help it. I like listening to myself. I, I can't help it. I, and another thing I see commentators state, and I think they're full of shit, because I pay attention to this all the time. Yes, I'm a small channel, and I don't have very many subs, but I can just about tell you within five or ten subs how many subs I got at any one time. And it, it bothers me a little bit. It breaks my, I'm, I slowly die inside when I lose a sub. Then again, it takes shit at I me. Mean, it's like Christmas every day when I log in, seeing I picked up three or four subs. Yeah, they a lot to some of these big channels. It means a lot to me. I'm still new at this shit. I ain't done this. I'm still under a year. I'm still just wet. I got a little milk on my mustache. Not on my beard, because that thing come from birth. Still got a little... Fuck. He just, I think he just hacked my fucking sentry gun. Because I, I think it comes alive. It shoots me. So, no. I don't know what the fuck killed me. AIDS, I guess. Some damn gonorrhea, fucking dysentery. But uh, get into the gameplay a little bit. We have, uh, 
I've, I've noticed something that it's for the COD gamers that love big kills. I'm going to give you a little tasty tidbit of advice from Redbeard Nation. If you want to get 80, 90, 100 kills around, Hardcore Headquarters is where it's at. A little strategy on it. And this ain't nothing new. This is no Rebel trademark secret. Unlike the way I've been. I've had Rebels tell me not to be showing you our domination strategies, but I'm going to keep bringing them to you anyway. But uh, Hardcore Headquarters. Two flags. Full amount. If you can capture them, get it up to about 300 because in Hardcore Headquarters... Uh, it goes up to 400. Many of you may not know that. Look right here. We're getting dominated. And these guys are flipping out because we beat our ass about seven times in a row. They're like, oh, my God, we're coming back. No, son. We're just trying to stretch out the game. It's harder to do in domination. It's harder to stretch games. I looked at fucking thing saved my life right there. Thank you, Jesus. But uh, in hardcore headquarters, let it run up. Catch two headquarters as quick as possible. Hold them the maximum amount of time you can get. Get it up to about the 300 mark, 320. No further than that. That way, if you accidentally, because you're going to have dickheads on your team that accidentally acquire one or two headquarters. Look how fucking, no, I did get one. And uh, you you need that buffer there so they can die and you can let them, re you know, take over the headquarters. Whatever. This bitch laying on the ground. But uh, capture those two and then run wild. I've had gameplay on Dome. This, this the mall, and, and Piazza, the new map. To me, they're just fucking slaughterhouses. I love it. I like the tight quarters matches. It gets where you're going to have to run a little more. Yeah, there's still tons of pit places people are going to camp. I can't help that. It's just built in the damn game. But uh, I, I like I like the tight matches. I don't like, I definitely don't like the new match. I pulled a couple victories off, but gosh damn, it's just fucking vegetation moving around. You got to look for a fucking ficus tree trying to anal rape you. That's the only thing I hate about it. Look at Firewall pulling off the finale with a duo. Trece papel suelta. Yes, I know that means a piece of paper and a pencil, but it's the only Spanish I know fluently. <laughs> 49 19. Look at my man Wolf going 77 23. Biggie, Soup. Soup got a 50. Ooh, get him, Soup. And then Poppy coming in. First round, the Rebels throwing down a 31 13. That's what I'm talking about, people. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Sorry so long. And until next time, peace out, bitches.